best of times. Mm. That is a tale of two cities. Are you sure? <laughs> What's that? An early Christmas present to cheer you up. <laughs> and coffee. Thank you. What's this? I already have business cards. Plus, haven't you read the big sign at the front? Yes and yes, but... But what? Your business cards are so old, they have a handwritten email address on them and no social media accounts. I think these might predate the internet. <laughs> okay, but still, the sign? I've decided I'm not letting you go out of business. Becky, you know I love this place more than anything in the world. But you've seen the numbers. We just can't compete in this new digital shopping world. People don't want to leave their homes to come find treasures anymore. They can have it all at the tips of their fingers. Chance, we can do this, okay? We just need to create some buzz, a, a new website, social media accounts, a blog. You'll notice all your new accounts are on the card. I don't know what half of these are. <laughs> you will learn. Plus, I already pre-programmed them to set up daily posts. What does that even mean? Just. Give me until the end of the holidays, okay? If this doesn't help to turn things around, I will finally learn the difference between a half-calf non-fat soy macchiato and a non-fat misto tea latte. Becky, come on. What do you have to lose? Definitely not a barista. See, I'm doomed without this job. Okay. But it's gonna take a Christmas miracle. This happens when I'm late, and he knows I'm late. And the more I talk, the more I'm late. You're late. Oh, I'm so sorry. I picked up the research file for your new men's line. Stripes are in, plaid is out. I mailed out the promo packages for your new fragrance, oh, d'aventure, and I emailed your sister to confirm that you and Miss Brooks will be attending her Christmas dinner. Wonderful. Did you book the Astro Lounge for the New Year's event? I want that presentation to be revolutionary. Yes, sir. Great. Oh, and uh, let's make sure the usual social media savvy crowd are there ready to live stream. I want the event to scream young, ambitious, adventurous executives. Everybody should leave that event wanting to wear clothing, fragrance, and accessories. Absolutely. Great. Did you specify dress code? Uh, of course. Oh, and I picked up your Santa hat. Santa hat? The magazine wanted the cover to have you in a Santa hat. Research shows it makes you appear more festive and approachable. <laughs> it was part of the terms you agreed to. Now remember, sir, it's all about the image. Your words. <sighs> I look ridiculous. Well, look at it this way, sir. This will be the last year you'll be voted most eligible bachelor. After Christmas Eve, you'll be off the market for good. That's true. Speaking of which, did you pick up my mother's ring from the safety deposit box? Ah, yeah, it's in my pocket. Great, guard it with your life. I would die for it, sir. Now, we need to wrap up this photo session. You have a press conference in five minutes and a board meeting at 10 a.m. I am very approachable and festive, when it's required. <clears throat> Maybe.
Maybe both on the hips? Hi Maybe. Um, maybe try a different side. What do you mean a different side? I'm looking at the camera. I mean, try favoring your left side. Everyone has a good side. A good side? Don't they look the same? No, they look completely different. Huh. I think we need a Santa hat. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Why does anyone want to see pictures of me for the blog? Why aren't we taking pictures of the treasures in this store? Because customers want to buy things from people they know and trust, OK? Our best chance to increase sales is by getting customers to know and love you. Ugh. Besides, the first post is all about you and how you started this place. Really? You wrote an entire post about that? I may not be good at ordering lattes, but I do have an English degree and a soft spot for sappy stories. An English degree? Aren't you being a little generous? Tis the season. <laughs> so, uh, what did you write? The truth. That your father was a collector of art and books and vintage furniture, and that when he passed away, you spent your college tuition money to open up this store in his memory so that he'd always be with you. That was such a long time ago. I was so naive to think I could make this work long term. You don't regret opening the store, do you? Not a moment. What am I going to do if this doesn't work out? I don't know. But. If we have a chance at making this work, we have got to find your good side. OK, come on. Break's over. Let's go. Let's see that turn. <clears throat> the turn. The turn. Ha! <laughs> it's better when I make noises. Here are your talking points regarding the sale of Rutherford and Sons. And these are for the acquisition of Mason White. Perfect. I see the ring, please. Yep. Has it been sized yet? Uh, it will be, as soon as you find out Miss Brooks' ring size, discreetly. Right, I haven't done that yet. How does one discreetly find out the size of a woman's ring finger? <laughs> I wouldn't know, sir. I work too much to have a girlfriend. But I'll put that on my list of things to figure out, and I'll get back to you, Mr. Richards, OK? No. Testing, 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 testing. OK, no, let's go. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you for coming. I have a few moments to answer some questions. Yes, Mr. Richards. With the recent acquisition of Mason White, we're wondering what are your plans for the corporation's new direction? Will you keep their current fashion lines? Well, I would like to increase the annual growth by at least 20% next year by introducing a new men's line led by fashion icon Jacob Chi. Uh, Mr. Richards, was the sale of Rutherford and Sons the result of the CEO's potential involvement in the latest political scandal? Rutherford & Sons was a business strategy that was put into motion six months ago and wasn't influenced in any way by exterior rumors. Mr. Richards, keeping with rumors, would you care to comment on the social media chatter about you and Miss Layla Brooks potentially getting engaged in the near future? Is there any truth that our most eligible bachelor may soon find himself hashtag tying the knot? I have no comment. My relationship with Miss Brooks is personal. Next question. Mr. Mr. Richards. Richards. Mr. Richards. This is really good. Sappy, but good. Thanks. We just need to add this photo here and post. Do you really think this could help save the store? Yes, I do. If you take it seriously and try. It's just so hard for me to put myself out there for the whole world to see. This stuff is so personal, and I don't know anything about this new social media savvy world. That's why you have me. Thank you. And look, we finally found your good side. Did you flip the image? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, you know, at the very least, maybe this whole thing will put you out there a little more. You can finally find a nice guy to share a meal with. You know, me and Captain Bubbles are just fine on our own. You can't cuddle with a fish. No, but he is a better listener than my last boyfriend, and he doesn't complain when I watch reality shows, so I take that as a win. Fair enough. What do you want for lunch? Sushi? Presentation for the meeting? 
Perfect. You found a first edition copy of A Christmas Carol for Layla yet? Ah, still working on that, Mr. Richards. Now, are you sure she's gonna like it? She doesn't strike me as the reading type. <laughs> Look, it's a classic. I'm sure she'll love it as much as I do. It's a tradition in my family to read it every single Christmas, and that's a tradition I'd like to continue when Layla and I get married. Yes, sir. Uh, and I'd like you to walk me through the rest of the plans for my big proposal. I want this week to be perfect. About that, sir. What about that, Ryan? I've been thinking, you know, I'm great at keeping your life on track. <laughs> That's why I keep you around. But perhaps you need someone a little more... More what? Qualified to plan and organize your big romantic proposal, sir. Ryan, you're the only one I trust. Okay, full disclosure, I haven't had a girlfriend in two years, and my best date ever was taking a girl to a comic book convention dressed in a cape and purple tights. Sounds like fun to me. The most romantic thing I've been able to come up with involves laser tag and tickets to an escape room. Okay, my anxiety levels have been steadily climbing ever since you asked me to put this together, and I'm afraid I'm just not cut out for romance, sir. I'm proposing in just over a week. Where do you want me to find help in such short notice? The internet? <laughs> Perhaps you could plan it yourself, you know? Yeah. Keep it simple, from the heart. Plan it myself, keep it simple? Wouldn't happen to know any romance experts by any chance, would you? No, I don't. But I do know where you might be able to find that first edition for Layla. Now get in there, sir. They're waiting for you, and you have a lunch meeting with Mrs. Jensen. Right. By chance, gifts. <sighs> Morning, everyone. Yeah, I can see that. If I could just have a moment, it's really important. Sure. How can I help? I'm, uh, I'm looking for a first edition copy of A Christmas Carol. I have your card here. I thought you might have it. I haven't handed those out yet. How did you get that? By chance, I suppose. <laughs> That's funny. By chance. Because my name. Anyway, you're looking for A Christmas Carol? Uh, it's one of my favorite books. So you have it then? I do, but it's my personal copy and unfortunately it's not for sale. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Come on, you gotta have a price. Everyone's got a price, right? I'm sorry, it was a gift from my father. But I do have a first edition copy of Jane Eyre if you're interested. No, it's, it's gotta be that book. See, I'm giving it to my girlfriend who I'm proposing to, I'm trying to be romantic. Aw, a romantic. Don't see those too often these days. Well, like I said, trying to be, but turns out I'm not very good at it. Seems like you're off to a great start. Not unless you sell me that book. <sighs> Listen, I can't sell you my book, but I am a hopeless romantic, so I can do my best to track down another copy for you. When do you need it by? Uh, Christmas Eve. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Sure, no problem. You know how to contact me. There's like a million ways to reach me on that card. I'll be in touch. Great. Great. So when you said you were a hopeless romantic, does that mean you're good at it? You agreed to do what? I know. It's crazy. Okay, so let me get this straight. William Richards, the most eligible bachelor three years running, walks into your store and offers you how much to plan a romantic proposal for his supermodel girlfriend? First of all, I had no idea who he was until I did some research on him last night. Oh, secondly, oh. I couldn't say no. He offered me enough to keep this place open for another month while we figure things out. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Not so fast. I still need to come up with an incredible week of romance leading up to an epic proposal and sweep this girl off her feet. Oh, please, you are the queen of romance. You've watched every Meg Ryan movie. You basically have the Titanic soundtrack on repeat. It's true. So? What's step one? Well, I really wanted to get to know this girl before I plan her dream engagement, so... So you went undercover and tracked her around town last night? <gasps> no, of course not. Oh. I took your lead and looked up all her social media accounts. What better way to get to know who someone truly is? 
Um, I checked out all of her profiles. This girl seems amazing. Dog lover, philanthropist, loves kids, loves theater, fitness enthusiast. I mean, she even has a beauty blog. Did you notice my new lip color? It's Christmas nude. Very nice. I can see why Will wants to marry this girl. She's basically perfect. So you based all your research on her social media accounts? Of course. Okay, and based on that research, um, what exactly did you do for this first grand romantic gesture? She kept posting these really sweet photos of shelter dogs who needed loving homes, so... So... I got a shelter dog delivered to her office this morning from Will! Oh, no. What? Layla. What is this? <laughs> it's a puppy. No, oh, well, it's a dog. A fully grown shedding. Smelly dog. You want a belly rub? <clears throat> uh, right. Uh, dog. From you. From me? Yes, uh, uh, from me. Do you like it? I do. <sighs> Good. From afar. What? But I thought you loved dogs. Yes, Will, in pictures and in parks and on other people's leashes. But you're always posting about shelter dogs and how adopting pets in need is so important. My agent said it would look good for my image. Look, Will, I, I hope they find good homes. I, I really do. I just don't want them to find my home. But don't you think a, a furry little friend would be a great addition to our lives? A tennis bracelet would be a good addition to my life. A dog is a complete overhaul. I just thought... Well, we are both so busy, career-oriented, and well-dressed. A dog sheds and requires time and attention that we both just don't have right now. Maybe don't you want to change that a little? Make a little more time for us? I mean, a dog would mean more walks together and quiet evenings at home. Well, I love you, but we have our careers to focus on. We can't be tied down like that. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll take him back. Thank you. And don't forget, we're hosting my annual Christmas game night tonight. Your place, APM Sharp, dress code in full effect. And I hired Pierre for his famous gluten-free vegan chocolate truffles. Do not be late. Oh, hey, Miss Brooks. Ryan. Oh, a puppy? Can we keep him? <laughs> Can you get a uh, chance on the phone, tell her we need to meet? Uh, yeah, sure. Guess you're with me for the day. Come on. Hi, little guy. <laughs> so I uh, thought you said you were good at this. I am. I just, I didn't factor in the whole social media curve. What do you mean? I mean, when I researched Layla's profiles, I didn't realize that people weren't 100% truthful on those sites. By her posts, it looks like a dog would have been the perfect romantic gift to kick off your proposal week. <laughs> well, it wasn't. How did that not work? Look at this face. <laughs> well, he is pretty adorable. <laughs> and I'm sure Layla will warm up to him eventually. But I mean, Chance, you can't truly get to know somebody just by looking at their profile. Actually, I think that's the exact purpose of those sites. To share with others who you really are. So you mean to tell me that everything you post on there about yourself is true? I think so. I mean, I've only had a few posts, but yeah, of course it's true. Why would I lie about myself? No, not lie. Uh, just create an image. You know, show the world who you want to be, not who you really are. But I am who I want to be. Aren't you? Uh, yeah, uh... I'll take him. Come here, little guy. You're coming with me. Am I fired? No. Oh, okay. But you will have to look after this guy for the next few weeks until Layla warms up to him. And... I think you should get to know the real Layla before you plan our next move. 
Okay. What do we do? We go undercover. <laughs> I'll explain. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> Wait up. <laughs> So you're William's personal assistant? Oh, more like an executive assistant. Oh. Yeah. Right. Okay. So? I don't think I've ever seen you in a dress before. Thanks. And the finishing touch. Do I have to wear those? Oh, well, it came with the dress and with Mr. Richard's instructions. I'll wear them. Good idea. You go undercover. I wish, but I have a feeling no one is gonna believe I'm Will's father's best friend's daughter from England. I'm tone deaf, so my English accent sounds like a mix of French and cyborg. You speak cyborg? A few dialects. Nice. Guys, okay, I'll wear the shoes. Almost got it. <laughs> How do I look? Tall. Tall. And who am I again? Will's, Will's father's, father's best, best friend's daughter, daughter from, from England. England. And what's his name? Who? Will's father's best friend. My dad. Oh, this is getting really complicated. Okay, uh... well, uh, don't get bogged down in the details. Just stay focused on the broad strokes. Right. Okay. And remind me, why am I doing this again? To get to know Layla so you can craft the perfect proposal, which will in turn save the store that you love so much. Plus, it'll be fun. Just imagine you're in an old detective novel. Ooh. Right. I can do this. Are you good to watch him for the night? You know we need to name him, right? We can't name him because we're not keeping him. We're just pet sitting until Layla warms up to the idea. You might want to name him. What? No! No one is naming this adorable little fluff ball. Because if we name him, he'll feel like he's ours, and then we'll want to keep him. That's how it works. Right, you're right. Yes, no name. No name. Your chariot awaits. Oh! Just try to have some fun tonight, okay? I thought I was going to a game night. Who can play charades in this outfit? Layla's crowd is big on dress codes. <sighs> okay. I'm thinking of two words. I got this. That's three words. I'm thinking of three words. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Yeah. I got, I got yes. it. I you thought that it. was implied. You got it. Right, just you want to make it. sure. Okay, great. <laughs> My blanket. That was my fault. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chance. Hi. Wow, you look tall. I was gonna say beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. I mean, thank you. What's that? My English accent. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's really good. So you ready? Yes. This is gonna be fun, like an old detective novel. Yes, exactly, tonight's all about recon. I'm gonna rig the team so that you and Layla are together. She loves England, you'll have tons to talk about. Will, I'm not actually from England. Right, but you've seen the royal wedding. Yes, of course. You'll be fine. Okay, but what if I get into trouble and she starts to suspect that something's up? Just give me some sort of a sign, I'll come to the rescue. What kind of sign? Touch your left ear. Left ear. Got it. You must be Olivia. Actually, Yes, I'm... yes, this is my father's best friend's daughter, Olivia. 
Olivia, this is my girlfriend, Layla. It's a pleasure to meet you, Layla. I've heard so much about you. You have. I didn't realize you two were so close. Well, why haven't you mentioned Olivia before today? Oh, we're not close. I met my father talks about you, and he hears that from Will, of course, because they are close. We are not close. I don't even really like William. But I don't not like him. We just don't really know each other that well. What did you say your father's name was again? John. Paul. <laughs> like the Pope? Yes, exactly like the Pope. <laughs> Why don't we uh, join the rest of the party? Sure. You talk a lot when you're nervous, huh? Maybe a little. Breathe. This will be fun. You're just on time. Everyone, this is Olivia, William's family friend. Hello. Hello. Love your shoes. Where did you get those? Oh, they were a gift from the Queen. Wow. You know the Queen. Mm-hmm. Were you at the wedding? What did you wear? OK, who wants to choose teams? Actually, we chose the teams while you were answering the door. Looks like you two are together. <laughs> oh. Great. Oh. Sorry, it's work. I got to take this. James. Not a problem. Feliz Navidad. So, Layla, what's your favorite color? Pink. Pink. Really? I would have taken you for a red girl, or crimson maybe, but pink. I love pink. <laughs> Favorite food? Vegan charcuterie. Okay. Haven't heard of that one before. Don't even know what that is. But it sounds good. I'll have to try it sometime. <laughs> Favorite sport? Oh. <laughs> I'm not really a sports kind of gal. You did do figure skating as a kid, though. I did like wearing the cute outfits. Interesting. Skating is so romantic. Couple skating is just my favorite Olympic sport. Don't you love it? Anyway, moving on. Um, favorite piece of jewelry? Uh, I actually always wanted a tennis bracelet. Are we playing 20 questions or charades? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I talk a lot when I get nervous. Apparently. Enough about Layla. Tell us all about the royal wedding. Um, OK. Who wants to play charades? I would. Very much. Snowman. Uh, Christmas tree. Reindeer. Reindeer? Eggnog. Your turn. Sorry. Are you kidding me? Okay, no, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Two words. First word. Cold. Snow. Second word. Ring. Halo. Angel. Snow angel. <laughs> Yes. All right. <laughs> that was five Boy. wins in a row. You guys are unstoppable. Yeah, Will, I didn't realize your friend was a professional mime. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, that really was. Was it? Because I just lost five games in a row, and I think it's time for Pictionary. Are you a professional artist, too? <sighs> I think it's time I call it tonight. No, um, <clears throat> don't go. I would. Really love to hear more about the royal wedding. Mm. <clears throat> and um, I'm just so impressed that you were actually there. Well, I was there. Uh huh. In England. Wow. While it was happening. Oh my gosh. So I was there, and it is definitely time for me to go. Oh. It was really lovely to meet you all. Layla, thank you for having me. Pleasure. I'll walk you up.
get everything you needed? Yes. I'm gonna make this week leading up to your big engagement the most romantic week ever. Make sure Layla's available tomorrow night. I'll send you details in the morning. Great. A chance? Yes, William. Thank you. Of course! <sighs> no problem. Make sure you check us out on social media. Okay, bye. I knew dating a hockey coach would come in handy one day. Found it. Okay, how many lights do you want? All of them. And let's get a big Christmas tree for the center of the rink. That is good. And what's that song that kids play at prom? Uh, boom, boom, let's go back to my room. No, 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 no. The other one, the sappy one. Oh. Forever Love. Yes, can you add that to my playlist, please? Oh, classic. This is gonna be perfect. What could possibly be more romantic than a midnight skate date? Okay, well, other than finding out that Ms. Layla Brooks was once a figure skating princess, what else happened last night? It was fun. Fun. You were in the home of William Richards. His house was featured in Million Dollar Mansions. Spill it. How does the other half live? What's Layla like? Is No Name gonna be happy there? Did you just call our dog No Name? Did you just call No Name our dog? He's gonna love it there. It's beautiful. Plus, Will is actually really nice and fun. And Layla? She's pretty. And nice. Uh-huh. And clean. That's good. Oh, she is not gonna warm up to the idea of having a dog, is she? Not with that furniture. Hi, partner. Hey, how's it looking? Amazing. Oh, fantastic, Leo will love it. I picked up the skates. Got them sharpened. Cute outfit waiting for her in the dressing room. And to set the perfect mood, a mix between Christmas music and classic rock love ballads. Fantastic. We got one last meeting and then I'm gonna head right over. If you could please have Ryan send a car for Layla in half an hour, that'd be great. Will do. Great, I'll see you then. I'll be here, hiding in the DJ booth because this epic mix won't mix itself. Okay, Becky, hit it. Wow. It's perfect. I wonder if this is what it feels like to be in the ice capades. Careful. I think this tree just needs one last finishing touch. Ryan, you know Layla pretty well, right? I do. I mean, you see her every day. I do. So, what do you think? Is she gonna love it? Oh. If I knew what made Miss Brooks happy, then you'd be out of a job and I'd still be in charge of this overwhelming task. It's not that hard to be romantic. No, I suppose not. But generally speaking, it is with women like Miss Brooks, however. Why? She seems nice. Yeah, she is nice and smart and very driven. It's just, I don't think she's ready to give up her part-time life in Paris and weekends in New York to settle down with anyone just yet. You don't think she'll say yes? No, 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 I, I didn't say that. But you implied it. What, no, no, hey, I think you're reading too deep into it. Is that why you walked away from this responsibility? No, I love my job. I love working for Mr. Richards. It's just, I don't wanna be the one to blame if this whole thing falls apart. And that's where I come in? To pick up the pieces? Or sweep them under the rug. Will is handsome and fun and nice. Of course she'll say yes. 
I hope you're right. Okay, everyone, selfie for the blog. I think we can officially add special event planning to our list of services. Really? Mm-hmm. Come on. <gasps> Say freeze. 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 Perfect. Yay. Becky, do you read me? Any sign of Ryan and Layla yet? What's their ETA? Nothing yet. Let me text Ryan again. Will's gonna be here any minute. Where are they? Oh no. Oh no what? Um... Becky, I know that tone. Layla's not coming. What? She has an early morning photo shoot and needs her beauty sleep. She did not say that. Okay, go tell Ryan to knock on that door and find a way to get Layla here. Yep, yep, okay, I'm on it. <gasps> oh no. What now? Will is here. Chance, you need to stall him. How? Be creative. Look, you stall Will and I'll keep working on Ryan Working on Layla. Deal. But work fast. This night has taken a lot of impeccable planning and it really needs to go well. And these trees were really heavy to bring inside. And do you know how many favors I had to pull to get this ring? Chance, you need to stop stalling here and start stalling him now. Right. Hi. What do you think? It's beautiful. I'm really glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, I do. Very much. Um, so Ryan and Layla are on the way. They're just running a bit behind. Ryan can't get Layla out of the house. This is a disaster. I don't know what else to do. That was the wrong number. Chance, hello, Chance. Do you read Chance? It's a walkie-talkie. The eagle has landed. It sure is. Yeah, it's okay. I already know. You do? Yeah, she's busy. Big photo shoot in the morning. Priorities. Yeah, totally. She needs her beauty sleep. Who does it? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry that you had to go through all this trouble. Oh, not at all. I really thought this was going to be an incredible night. Grand gesture and all. Well, we still have a few more days before the big proposal, so any other tricks up your sleeve? A few. Great. It's beautiful. A single white rose signifies spiritual love. Soulmates. True love. A man who knows his symbolism. You are a romantic. <laughs> With terrible luck. Told you I was bad at romance. The best moments in life happen by chance. Haha. <laughs> I... I better start taking this stuff down. And, uh, ruin a perfectly good mix of Christmas music and classic rock ballads? You got a better idea? Well, I did buy you a pretty killer pair of heels the other day, so I happen to know that you have the exact same shoe size as Layla. I do. Why not put brand new skates to use? What do you say? Uh, I'm really out of practice. Come on. You know, I did put a lot of effort into those songs. Why not? <laughs> There's something about this cozy heart that night. Sparkling, the fire light. There's something in the calmness amidst the storm. Makes my soul feel safe and warm That love calls me home That love calls me home The troubles of the day fade away Who knew that vegan, gluten-free Christmas cookies could taste so good? Right? 
I've learned a lot these past few days. <laughs> yeah? Like what? Like people can survive without gluten. And that I can balance on both heels and skates with only minimal damage. You don't get out much, do you? <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. I surround myself with old things. I'm always at the store where everything is safe and familiar. Mm. Not much of a risk taker? Calculated risks. I mean, don't you want to explore new things? Hey, I'm exploring new things. Gluten-free snacks, figure skating. Oh, and I think I may have just adopted a dog. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I've always felt like I didn't really fit in in this time period. Everyone wants shiny new things, new experiences, new artists, new fashions. I just think there's something so magical about the classics. The past holds so many memories. Moments locked in time. Is that why you opened the store? I opened the store because my father was a collector of vintage furniture and art and books. And when he passed away, those things were all that was left of him. Sorry. I was so young. And I still needed my dad. So I surrounded myself with memories of him and I guess I just became a part of them. But what about you? What's your story, Mr. Most Eligible Bachelor of the Year, three times in a row? I hate that title. Really? Yeah. Because I think most men would love that. No, it's, just, it's not who I am at all. I have this image to uphold, so everything that I do is to either build my company or my brand. Why do you feel like you need to be something other than who you are to build a brand? Don't you think people like the real you? I don't know. I guess I'm not really willing to risk finding out. <laughs> I bet you'd be pleasantly surprised. Under all the bells and whistles, who is William Richards? I don't know. No one's ever asked me that before. Hmm. You know, the truth is, I don't really know who I am beyond my brand. Of course you do. What part about your image is real? Well, the, the part that I... I love my job, I love to travel. I care about my company, my employees. Okay. And what part about your image is false? Well, I'm definitely not an eligible bachelor. And I do want to settle down, have a family, a dog. <laughs> and just spend less time at the office and more time enjoying life. And why would that be so bad to admit? I guess those aspects just aren't in line with my brand. See, when people follow me or buy one of our products, you know, they're buying an idea. I have a belief that if they buy these products or these things, they're somehow buying into a lifestyle that I represent. Does Layla know the real you or just your brand? <sighs> um, she knows what I want. Yeah, of course. Sorry, that's none of my business. No. I didn't mean to pry. It's okay. We should probably pack up and get going. That's going to take us a really long time. Good thing we're hopped up on sugar. Bring the cookies. Don't look at me like that. I know, I blew it. I totally pried and asked too many questions and I don't know how many more chances I'm gonna get. I know. You and I are both in trouble if I don't get this right. Morning, young lady. Hi, Mr. D. Oh, cute dog, what's his name? Oh, we're calling him No Name. Okay, original, I like it. <laughs> There you go. 
Thanks so much for this. Yes! The kids are gonna love these stories. Oh. You know, I'm bringing my granddaughter to your Operation Christmas Charity Toy Drive again this year. Oh, that's great. Mm. I look forward to seeing her. But she just loves that your Santa reads them a story. But I think it's wonderful what you're teaching our kids. I mean, encouraging children to donate some of their toys to other kids in need teaches them important values. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Oh, who's going to be your Santa this year? Mr. Hughes, of course. Best Santa in town. You mean the best Santa out of town? What? Didn't he tell you? Mr. Hughes is spending the holidays with Mrs. Hughes in Florida this year. They left last week. Oh, no. I totally forgot he was leaving. Sorry, kid. Ah, you'll find someone to replace him. You still have a few days. I've been so caught up in Operation Romance that I forgot about Operation Christmas. Oh, romance will do that to a person. So, uh, who's the special guy? Special guy? Mm. Oh, oh no, he's not special. I mean, he is special. He's just, he's not my special, you know? <laughs> Martha's right. Dating is so complicated these days. Mr. D, how did you know that Martha was going to say yes when you proposed to her? I just knew. Because she had seen all of me, the good and the bad, and she still stuck around. Were you nervous? Nothing to be nervous about when it's the right one. So how did you sweep her off her feet? What was your big grand gesture for your proposal? Uh, well, we just finished doing the dishes at her grandmother's farmhouse. She was so beautiful. The sun was setting through the window, and the way the light hit her face was just perfect. I looked her in the eye, I got down on one knee, and asked her to be my wife right then and there. Didn't even have a ring, so I picked a thread off the drapes and tied it around her finger. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I guess it wasn't grand or some big romantic proposal, but it was still one of the best memories of my life. I'm one lucky guy. And she's one lucky lady. Ah, I married up. <laughs> well, better get going. Busiest time of the season. Well, good luck finding a new Santa. Thanks, Mr. D. Bye, uh, dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What about Jerry? What? He's the only actor I know. Again, being an extra in a music video does not make you an actor. Besides, I don't think I can take another lecture from him on how kids these days just can't appreciate good music. Well, the jury's still out on that one, huh? What about Mr. Jackson? Hey, he looks the part. Jail. Really? It's always the quiet ones. Hello? Hey. Will, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Uh, been better. Why, what's wrong? I got so caught up in all of this proposal business that I completely forgot to book my Santa for the toy drive on Saturday, and now I'm kind of stuck. Oh, well, you need a Santa? Desperately. Well, I can help. I know him personally. Had him on speed dial since I was eight. Really? No, speed dial wasn't around back then. <laughs> but you can help me find a replacement? Yeah, of course. Just text me time and place. I'll make sure he shows up. How many reindeer you need? Reindeer are an option? Always. <laughs> well, I don't think I have enough room for Rudolph, but uh, I'll take one Santa, please. You got it. Thank you so much. This is so important to the kids. You have no idea how much this means to me. No, it's no problem at all. Just happy I could help. So what's up? Uh, well, I was just uh, calling about that book. Uh, Do you have any luck yet? Not yet, but I haven't met a first edition that I haven't been able to track down. I'm following some leads, and I promise I will get you your first edition of A Christmas Carol by Christmas Eve. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Hey, did you get my email? What do you think about one last attempt at a night of romance before your big proposal next week? Well, I think uh, third time's a charm. <laughs> Great. Then I'll see you later tonight. Sounds good. I'll, I'll see you then. What's the plan for tonight? 
Something a little more classic. Ooh. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey there, little buddy. Hey, did you miss me? I missed you. Got a treat for you. Perfect. You're on time. Ryan and Layla are en route, and you look amazing. I uh, look amazing? Did I say that? I meant this whole thing is amazing. Everything's amazing. Oh, right, of course. Uh, hi, I'm Becky. I've been helping out with the, the pet sitting and romance. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Well, Chance does like to brag about how awesome I am. Uh, wasn't Chance. I think you might have another fan. Oh, you mean? <laughs> uh, okay, let's focus. Okay. After you order wine, a musician will come over and serenade you, and then you'll give her this gift. It'll be perfect. Great. Sounds a little more classic than your last two attempts. I like it. Well, a wise man reminded me that it's not about the grand gestures, but about the moments, the time together. You and Layla will have a beautiful, quiet, romantic evening, enjoying each other's company. The chef knows all of her favorite foods, and there will not be an ounce of gluten on that menu. Sounds good. What's in the box? Oh, hey, guys. Guys, hide. Good luck. Thank you. Becky, what are you doing? I just want to see what Layla looks like in person. Are you checking out Layla or Ryan? Mmm, little of column A, little of column B. <laughs> Thought so. So, you and William seem to be getting close. He's okay. Oh, I know that face. What face? The I'm falling for Mr. He's okay face. I do not have that face. Yes, you do. It looks like this. He's okay. He's okay. <sighs> well, he did look pretty cute tonight. I believe the word you used was amazing. I am not falling for that handsome, kind, sweet man that loves dogs. No, of course you're not. He's just the first guy in a long time I've enjoyed talking to. Yeah, totally believe you. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's Ryan. He's off for the rest of the night. He's gonna take me to the history of video games exhibit. Hmm. And he claims he's not good at romance. No, this isn't ro it's not romantic. He he and I were just like we're friends who what? Oh, that face. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Mwah. Have fun. I told you we'd nail this one. The classics always work. Come on, let's go. As I was saying before that musical interlude, Maggie wants me in Prague by Thursday at the latest because the photographer is only available on Friday. Thursday's Christmas Eve. The photographer's only available on Christmas Day? Well, he books up year-round. He'd be doing her a huge favor by squeezing us in. Uh, on Christmas Day? Well, I would still be around Christmas Eve-ish. I would just have to leave a little earlier than I hoped. Uh, um, yeah, but Layla, we're supposed to spend Christmas with my sister. Bring her, it'll be great. She has a husband and three kids, remember? Bring them too. Uh, uh, but Layla, it's, it's Christmas, don't you, uh, Want to spend it at home with me and our families? Well, of course I do. I just can't pass up this opportunity. You understand that career comes first at this point in our lives, right? I, I do, but um, what if I want our careers to come a very close second to our relationship now and to family? Well, I would say that's very sweet. Unrealistic at this time, but sweet. 
realistic at some point. Yeah, at some point. I haven't opened your present yet. <laughs> Is it a tennis bracelet? It's a uh, surprise. I love surprises. <laughs> well, a tennis bracelet, I love it. How did you know? Uh, I guess I just know that you like shiny new things. <laughs> It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> well, no name, I think you're gonna have a new home soon. I gotta tell you, we're gonna miss you around these parts. But don't worry. You're going to a beautiful home. And Will and Layla, they're gonna take such great care of you. And you can come visit anytime you want. It's my turn. Okay, enough feeling sorry for ourselves. Time to bury these feelings deep down. We have a big day tomorrow. Let's go home. Chance, Becky. Hey, thanks for coming. I oh, wouldn't miss it. Have a seat anywhere. Okay. Come on, guys. Where is he? Uh, he'll be here. It starts in a few minutes, and Santa is nowhere to be found. At least you have a reindeer. That's not helpful. But he is pretty adorable, isn't he? So adorable. Have you tried texting Will? Five times. He promised me his Santa wouldn't be late. Isn't that, oh my. Merry Christmas, everyone! Comments there you are, dear boy. I wonder where you ran off to. Dasher and Blitzen have been looking everywhere for you. <laughs> Comet? Oh no. He named the dog. Hey, Santa, did you get my letter? You bet I did. And I see you're being such a good boy and bringing a special gift to give to someone else less fortunate. It's one of my favorites. Do you think they'll like it? I know they will. It's boys and girls like you with big hearts that make Christmas so very special. Now, who would like to hear Santa read a Christmas story? <laughs> Wishes come true with their mistletoe. Well, that went well. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to go out and grab us some coffees. Santa, how do you take it? Don't tell her. Her ratio of guessing your order is much better than her stats on actually remembering what you want. All right, mystery coffee it is. All right. Come on, come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey. Yeah. Comet, huh? <sighs> yeah, you know, I'm Santa. He's obviously part reindeer, so yeah. I think Comet suits him perfectly. I like it. But I'm still a little confused as to why you're Santa. I thought you were getting me the real Santa. Uh, turns out he's uh, pretty busy this time of year. Hmm, I see. And he got food poisoning <laughs> and had to cancel on you. <laughs> I, I couldn't let you down, so, you know, I called in a few favors, got this very flattering Santa outfit, and voila. Well, I must say, it is quite flattering. <laughs> Have you lost weight? Um, yeah, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's really bloomed. Must like it here. Must like you. A lot of good energy in here. Yeah, I can sense that. 
So what's your uh, all-time favorite thing in here? Old books. <laughs> of course. I'm assuming you're not the type of person to trade in their entire home library for a tablet? Never. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about holding an old book that's been read by various people over a number of decades. Sometimes I think about all the different lives and families and times. We're all so different, but in that one moment in time, we're all experiencing the exact same journey. The best is when you find old books with inscriptions in them, notes from loved ones, from husbands to wives, friends, parents to their children, all because they want that person to enjoy those pages and that journey just as much as they did when they read it. It's magical. Yeah, I guess it is. What about you? Uh, are you a tablet guy or old books? Tablet. <laughs> really? Then why are you so focused on finding a Christmas carol for Layla? Just buy her a tablet and program all your favorite books in it. Ah, I guess because, you know, the memory of reading that all together as a family over the Christmas holidays as a kid is kind of the last memory I have of all of us together. Will, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know. It's okay. My mom, she got pretty sick the following year and that tradition died with her. So when I start my own family, I want that tradition to live on. Lifetimes apart, but same journey. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot in common. Ted, I just, I wanted to thank you so much for helping me. And not with the engagement, but with everything. I've really learned a lot about myself the past week. You have? Yeah. When we talk, it's like you actually see me. Not, you know, the will that people read in the papers or on social media, but it's like you see who I am on the inside. I mean, I, I didn't even think I knew who that was until I met you. Well, I'm glad. Because the real you is pretty great. <laughs> yeah, it's such a strange feeling. What is? Spending time with someone who doesn't want or need anything from the William Richards in my bio. You should let more people see the real you. Well, people see what they want to see. But when you look at me, it's like you see right through me. Pass the image. Well... I need All right, I went on a limb with one cream, one milk. Oh. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> um, I, I should get going. Black coffee? Well, she is good at guessing. I told you. <laughs> Wait, you, you have to go right away? Yeah, I gotta get going. You know, the, the sleigh is double parked, and, you know, if I get another ticket, Mrs. Claus is gonna kill me. <laughs> uh, the big red bag there is full of brand new toys for the kids. Wow, oh. really? You didn't have to do that? Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. Come on, Comet, you ready to fly? Oh, yeah. Wait, you're taking Comet? Yeah, we've imposed enough. Oh, he's no imposition. We've actually really gotten used to the little furball. Well, I, I think it's time to be true to my own feelings, you know? Be the real me. I want Comet in my life, and I think if Layla just spends a little bit of time with him, she'll start to realize that there's more to life than just her career, too. I see. Uh, so I guess I'll, I'll see you on Christmas Eve for the big proposal. Uh, just keep in mind, Layla flies out that night, so everything will have to be ready before she goes to the airport. It'll be perfect. Great. I completely forgot to get her ring size. Oh, 6.5. How do you know that? I snuck into her room while she was sleeping and measured. Sorry, what? <laughs> I'm kidding! I called her best friend Jolene and asked her about her favorite nail salon. She goes there once a week. What? They see hundreds of hands every week. They're very accurate at guessing ring sizes. How did you know that I needed it? Oh, well, Ryan figured that you might need a little help discreetly finding that out. <laughs> You're gonna make a good team. Yeah, we do. Bye. Bye. I just had to name the dog. I told you.
Last delivery of the night. Mr. Davis. Uh, Thanks again for dropping by with Joni today. Oh. I hope you had fun. It was wonderful. I knew you'd find the perfect replacement Santa. <laughs> he was pretty great. <laughs> yeah. And now I can thank him with this. Oh, no. What is it, dear? This is the wrong book. I ordered a first edition copy of A Christmas Carol. This is a biography of Carol Christmas. Oh, dear. What am I going to do? Will needs this for Christmas Eve. I'm sorry, Chance. You know how crazy it gets this time of year. Look, I'm sure he'll understand. It was an honest mistake. You package it up, and I'll have it returned. And have a Merry Christmas, OK? You too. Thanks. Captain Bubbles, what am I going to do? Well, you're no help. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's crazy. Hi, Chris. Hi, it's Chance from By Chance Gifts. Yes, remember that big favor I helped you with last summer? Well, I was hoping you could help me locate a first edition of A Christmas Carol for Christmas Eve. No, of course I understand. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Well, that didn't work. What is going on? Merry Christmas. Oh, oh. I'll go this way. What's going on? I got like a million emails from customers last night wanting to buy Christmas gifts. <laughs> I know, isn't it amazing? Look at this place, it's packed. Hi. How did this happen? I told you we could do it. I posted a picture of yesterday's toy drive on the blog and it went viral. My little toy drive went viral? Mm -hmm. How? Why? What does that even mean? When people got a look at the most eligible bachelor of the year, dressed up as Santa Claus, reading to a group of kids, didn't take long for your store to make it to the top of everyone's wish list for Christmas. What do you mean, everyone? How many people saw the blog? Oh, everyone. Oh, no. So most manufacturers, they try to use Italian silk. And because, you know, the overhead on that is so Good much. Good morning, Will. Layla, uh, how was your interview this morning? Oh, it was lovely. Although the magazine wanted to know all about my boyfriend, who was dressed up as Santa reading a book to children in a store owned by a girl who looked an awful lot like Olivia. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'll be somewhere else. And the funny thing is, well, it wasn't Olivia at all, but a girl named Chance, who is not from England, by the way, and I'm guessing isn't your father's best friend's daughter? I, I can explain. You lied to me. I know, but it's not... You brought a woman into your home, lied to me about who she was, and then you go around playing Santa for her toy drive without telling me? <laughs> Do you know how embarrassed I was when I realized I was talking about a fictional girl and the magazine had to correct me on who she was? I'm sorry. You're sorry? This is my career, Will. I can just imagine the rumors that are going to come out of this fiasco. What about our image? Let's go grab a coffee. I'll explain everything. I don't want to hear it. And what is this mutt still doing here? I thought I told you to bring him back. She didn't mean it. How did you not tell Will that the photos we were taking were for the blog? How was I supposed to know? Asking permission is social media etiquette 101. This is so complicated. I ruined everything. No, it's not your fault, okay? I, I, you didn't do anything wrong, okay? I should have made sure that you asked Will. I mean, of all people, Will should understand the power of social media. We had no control over this going viral. I mean, you have like three subscribers and two of them are me and the all-knowing Gabby, my alias. Thank you. How could we have known this would happen? 
Wasn't this the goal? To get customers in here? He's gonna think that I used him for publicity. And he's right. Can you handle this for a moment? I need to get some air. Oh. Uh. Hi. Yes, I can help you. Excuse me. Thank you. Well. See, business is picked up. Glad I could help. Will, I'm so sorry. Just came to pay you for the work that you did on the proposal and pick up the book. Won't be needing your help anymore. Let me explain. I had no idea that Becky was going to post those photos on the blog. She does all this pre-programming, and I didn't realize. I just thought you were different. Never thought you'd use me to get what you want. Now I'm seeing you're just like everyone else. That's not fair. I didn't mean to do this. Let me make it up to you. Let me make tomorrow night the best Christmas Eve proposal ever. I don't think so. He was not even talking to me right now, Chance. Please, just get me the book and go back to your customers. There was a mistake and the book didn't come in. It was a different book, but I promise I'm doing everything that I can to get you another copy. Uh, you know, it was just a stupid idea. Layla likes shiny new things. A stupid old book. What time is it? Uh, ten twenty. Perfect. Why? Hey, uh, Chance, a little help over here? I... What are you doing? Fixing what we broke. I need you to hold down the fort here for a few hours. Uh, but it's like really busy here. I know. Thank you. I... Uh... Thanks. Can I help you, miss? No. Yes, maybe. I'm looking for Layla Brooks. I'm the one who called regarding the ring finger. Oh, yes, the ring finger. How's that going? There's been a minor glitch. Is she here? Yeah, she's actually my next client. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Layla, I'm really glad I found you. What are you doing here, Olivia? Or is it Chance? Or is that a fake name, too? I'm just going to give you guys some privacy. It's Chance. And I came here to explain everything. It's not what you think. Really? Because what I think is my boyfriend's been lying to me about who you are, and the two of you have been sneaking around behind my back. OK, it's, it's partly what you think. What do you want? And how did you even find me here? Long story. You have 30 seconds. 30 seconds? OK, then. Long story short. Will found my business card and contacted me to help him create the most romantic week for you leading up to Christmas. What? Why? Because he wanted to make this Christmas really special for you. He knows how hard you've been working, and he wanted to do something special to show you how proud he is of you. Oh. But why were you at my party pretending to be somebody else? Well, my first attempt with the dog didn't go exactly as planned, so he wanted me to get to know you so I could plan something really special. The, the dog was your idea? OK, time's up. Layla, come on. Will loves you and wants to make you the happiest woman in the world. He wasn't trying to lie to you. He was trying to do something special. It just, it didn't work out. And why? Was he at your store dressed up as Santa Claus? Because my regular Santa is out of town, and I asked him for help. He tried to book someone, but they got food poisoning the night before, and he didn't want to let me down. Layla, Will is an amazing guy, and he loves you so much. Please, just meet him at this address tomorrow night at 6 PM before your flight. Did he really hire you to make this Christmas special for me? 
Yes. You got the tennis bracelet you always wanted, didn't you? Okay. You're forgiven for the dog. I really do love the bracelet. Meet him tomorrow night, please. Oh, and give him this. What is it? It's something that he'll love. It's something that'll mean a lot coming from you. Trust me. Okay. I'll be there. Thank you. And Merry Christmas. An old book. What kind of Christmas present is that? Merry Christmas Eve, listeners. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and spending it with family and friends. Here's one of my favorite songs to kick off okay. tonight's countdown to That Christmas. looks great. Thank you. Um... Where to next? Why don't you start on that one? Okay. More lights. On it. <laughs> Chance, you need to relax, okay? This place looks beautiful. I can't. It needs to be perfect. Hey, what's going on? Layla knows the truth now. And the whole blog fiasco was an honest mishap. A happy mishap for the store, by the way, but still, it wasn't meant to hurt anyone. I'm sure... Deep down, Will knows this, too. I just... I really like him, Becky. I feel like I let him down. If he's really as great a guy as you say he is, I'm sure he'll realize it was just a miscommunication, and you'll still be friends after this. Yeah. Friends. And that is the root of the problem. You are in love with him. No, I'm not chance you're so upset over will you haven't even realized the store is back in business which is the whole reason why you started working with will in the first place of course i'm happy about that i just didn't want the price to be will's happiness it's not they're gonna be fine okay you work so hard for everyone else your intentions were good this this will blow over you don't need to overdo it, okay? Their relationship should be able to stand on its own. And you know, it's not a perfect proposal that creates a perfect marriage. If they're really meant to be, it shouldn't matter how he proposes. I know. And just for the record, I am not overdoing it. Is this enough lights? Now we're talking. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how did you get this? Go. <laughs> oh my Where did I go wrong? Comment. I overreacted to the whole thing. I just thought if I created this perfect week for Layla that she'd see how great we are together. And she'd want what I want, you know? Yeah, I know. You know what the funny thing is? It's like the more I tried, the more we seemed to fall apart. And the more time I spent with Chance, the more time I felt like myself. Mountain lion, mountain lion, can you hear me? Yep, 10 4. Okay, let's go over the plan one more time. We've got this chance. Becky, 
Okay, so in exactly five minutes, Ryan calls Will and tells him that Layla wants to meet him here to talk things through. Then I stand watch with a walkie and let you know when they arrive. If Will gets here first, I stall him. And we just hope that Layla shows up. She said she'd be here. Ryan, do you have Will's mother's wedding ring sized and ready? I've been guarding it with my life for the past two weeks. Perfect. Have it on standby. You got it. And then when they're both here, I cue the snow and the romantic music. I think we're ready. Do you think this is gonna work? I think that when two people are meant to be together, love always finds a way. Mountain Lion, are you ready? Okay, oh, where? Just lying Ooh. out. <laughs> <laughs> Better go pack. It's a long trip ahead of us. <laughs> Don't worry. We're gonna love you. <laughs> Come on, answer. Come on. Come on, pick up. Pick up. Come on. Come on, come on, just ring, 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 come on, come on, pick up, pick up, answer, come on. Hey, hey, hey. what's going on? He's not answering, he's not picking up, he's not answering. Okay, okay, uh, I'll keep Chance busy, you just keep trying, okay? Okay, all right, okay. come on, okay, pick up, pick up, come on, come on, pick up, pick up. Shh. Yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, come on, come on, Will, come on. Come on, pick up, 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 come on, come on, come on. Layla. Hey. Do you have a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in, please. Did you decide to come to Prague with me? Oh, no. Sorry. I was packing to go to my sister's for Christmas, remember? Right, yeah. Of course. Hey. I'm so glad you're here right now because I just wanted to apologize for this past week. I tried to create this perfect romantic week for you and... I know. I heard. Did Ryan fill you in? Something like that. I just thought if I created this perfect week for you that maybe you'd want what I want. And what is that, Will? Because I thought that we wanted all of the same things. But now I'm not so sure anymore. What do you mean? I mean, suddenly you want a dog, and you rather spend Christmas with your sister and her kids than with me in Prague. Well, no, no, I, I want to spend Christmas with you. Just not at a photo shoot surrounded by strangers. That's our lives. But what if I want more than that? You know, settle down a little bit, maybe change priorities, work on our relationship, and. Spend less time on our careers. You love your career. And I love mine. But what if there's more to life than that? What if there's more to me than that? Well, I love you. But I'm just not ready to compromise my life right now. What are you saying? Maybe we're just not good together anymore. Your Christmas present. <gasps> Leo, this is the, this is the most thoughtful gift you could have given me. See, see, this is why we're so good together. I, I, I was trying to find you this exact book. Where did you find this? I didn't. And to tell you the truth, I have no idea why that book is even important to you. Well, Chance gave that to me. Someone you've known for a week knows you way better than I ever have. The 
dog, the, the book, the, the toy drive, the settling down, that, that's just not me. And up until today, I had no idea it was even you. Now maybe I fell in love with your image and not the real you, and I am so sorry for that. But the career, Christmas in Prague, jet setting around the world, that's the real me. And I love it. Layla. I'm sorry, Will. Merry Christmas. What time is it? Five minutes later than the last time you asked. What time was Layla's flight? 35 minutes ago. Any chance she got the times messed up? Zero. And has Will ever taken this long to return a call before? I'm sorry, Chance. You worked so hard on this. I can't believe they didn't show up. I ruined their big engagement. Look. I'm no expert on love or romance, but do you remember why I passed on this romantic assignment? Because you didn't want to be the one to blame if it all fell apart. Exactly. I had a feeling this wouldn't end well. And you are not to blame. Miss Brooks has never seen Will for who he truly is. Yeah, she's a lovely woman, but they were never meant to be. Are you sure you're not the expert on romance? Thank you, Ryan. I still feel terrible. Come on. We'll help you take this down, and we can all go grab some pizza. Yeah. Yeah, there's a great spot just up the street. It's OK. You guys go ahead. I need to be alone for a little while. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. It would have been romantic. say anything. I know I messed up. I don't want to talk about it. What's up? My beautiful daughter, Chance, of always and forever, Dad. This is Chance's copy. She just gave me the book that her father gave to her. space for the whole evening, so could you please put the power back on?
What is going on? Will, you came. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This is a disaster. Layla was supposed to show up and this was supposed to be your big romantic moment and everything was supposed to work out and- Chance? Yes? I love that you talk a lot when you're nervous. You do? I do talk a lot when I'm nervous, but I mean, no, I'm not nervous. Layla was supposed to be here before you and now I'm not even sure if she's coming. So I'm not even chance. sure. Yeah? I love that you know everything about me without even trying. Well, you're really easy to get to know. Well, that's the thing. I'm not easy to get to know. I spent my whole life around people who think they know me but they only got to know who I pretended to be, my image. But when you look at me, you see right past the facade, and you see the real me. Well, I like the real you. And I love that you put others before yourself. You gave me the book that your father gave you as a child just because you thought it would help me save my relationship. Did it? save your relationship? No. It didn't. Because Layla's not the one I'm supposed to share that journey with. This is for you. A single white rose. Spiritual love. Soulmates. I'm really sorry I didn't see it before now, Chance. True love was right in front of me this entire time. One Christmas ago, while I was all by myself, just like that old Saint Nick, without all of his elves, sipping no champagne. When the Aww, hi, Comet. I still can't believe. <laughs> I see you got a little help. Yeah, we all make a pretty good team. There's an angel in my arms and one at the top of the tree. Yes, we do. We're watching the snow fall on that King Cole singing silver bells on the radio. Kissing you below the Dream. I always wished it could be decorating the tree. You and me, Christmas Eve, yeah. Santa, my man, you really came through for me this time. Came through for me this time. We're watching the snowfall. 